Hey guys, what's up? It's Tanner here with Architect, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the benchmarks in Lumion on the MacBook Pro. I'm also going to do some renderings and show you how well it renders at the different quality levels. So when it's on low, medium, medium high, and highest quality. Let's get to it. Hey guys, basically I just want to let you know everything that's going on while I am doing it. So right now I just went to a forested scene and I just placed a lot of different uh, buildings that I have imported. So I placed one, two, three, four buildings just randomly in here. Not meant to look good or anything like anything special, but just to give you an idea of how it renders. So right now I am on the lowest quality and I'll show you how it moves around. You can see move around just fine so working in the lowest quality it is moving around very easily I'm gonna go to the next uh, quality up so I'm pressing F1 and F2 and 3 and 4 to change these so right now I'm in F2 still very good Quality's up more. And really no lagging issues. I'm going to go to F3, so the next setting up for quality. Still move around nicely. A little bit behind from the last one. But still move around nicely. And now we go to F4. Still move around well. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> So basically what it's doing is when I'm on F1, it's low quality, F2 is medium quality, F3 is high quality, and then F4 is super high quality. So I will go back out of this. So again, I am in F4 right now, and it is moving very well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the files. Let's go to the files and I will show you computer speed and the benchmarks. So the benchmarks results here shows 93% of what you want it to be at. So the graphics card with the AMD Radeon Pro 5500M shows a faster GPU may help with larger, more complex projects, just under the recommended amount. But again, I haven't run into any issues, but still very good for a Mac using these programs. Uh, definitely, um, definitely better than what Macs have done in the past. The uh, graphics memory with the 8.2 gigs is plenty good, so that's awesome. The processor, the i9 processor is good, and the 32 gigs of RAM is also good. My guess if you were to use 16 gigs of RAM, you'd be somewhere in here. I don't think you'd run into too many issues if you're just using this program, and maybe one other. Basically, the, the RAM helps you multitask, so I think if you're just in this program, you should be fine. So here, I'm going to just load another one of my projects. We'll go to this one, just to give you an idea of how it moves through these projects. Alright, so this is a project I did last year, and as you see, move around in here with all of this is very, very fluid. So. 
Right now I am in F4, highest quality. So I'll move through here and it's just moving through just fine, no lagging at all. And this was a um, development in Colorado my classmates and I had to do. And so this was my design. So as you can see, it's moving very well. This is our landscape. So I am going to I'm going to get an idea of how well, to move around. Let's go in closer. Let's go to the pavilion slash amphitheater. So it's moving very nicely. Really no issues here at all. Yeah, no lagging in this product whatsoever. Go to F1 at the lowest quality. F2, F3, still moving nicely, F4, no issues at all. Yeah, just flying through very easily. Okay, so I'm going to go to one more project. Let's go to, let's go to this one. So the other one was a community project of like a small neighborhood in Colorado. And this one is of a block redesign in Fargo, North Dakota. And this doesn't have a whole lot of information on it other than the buildings and uh, a little bit of landscaping in the plaza. But just to give you a general idea of how it works in this as well. Okay, I'm gonna press F4. I am in, so here we have lowest quality, F2, F3, and F4. F4 you can see just barely changes some shadows. So here... You can see that moves around just fine. No issues here. I hope this gives you guys a good idea at how well the Mac can use and work in Lumion. I wanted to give you a live walkthrough of me working in Lumion and just move around in Lumion uh, and show you the benchmarks of a Mac in Lumion. So please, if you have any questions, comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It helps a lot. And otherwise, have yourselves a great day.